following up tonight in Pueblo, the city is scrambling now to try and find a temporary warming shelter now that plans for a permanent facility have been scrapped. News 5 Jessica Barreto has new information tonight that with the lack of any kind of shelter from the snow and cold, it could be dangerous for the entire community. Police tell me if there isn't a place for them to stay, homeless folks could resort to seek shelter in vacant homes. And as we've seen this year, that could pose a safety threat for the whole community. We've seen it before, fires raging inside vacant homes. Firefighters finding traces of squatters after the fact. Neighbors caught off guard. They didn't even know what was going on. What woke up the neighbors was people running. And then they look out and they see the house that these people were staying in was on fire. So it's one of those things that they didn't even know if there was people still in there or not. Police say they see this happen more in the winter months. We see it throughout the year, but obviously it gets a little more pronounced when it gets colder. The city of Pueblo hoped to have a permanent homeless shelter ready, but the locations they chose didn't pass inspection. So now they're working on opening a temporary warming shelter by early December. Right now, priority number one has to be a temporary warming shelter to get us through the winter. Councilman Mark Aliff told me more squatting situations are a very real possibility this winter. And while police patrol known hotspots, they say the best way to prevent this from happening in your neighborhood is to keep an eye out and report anything suspicious. The ones that are damaged and in, that are, are known to us, we check those periodically, but the ones that are not, those are ones that we need help with. Right now, police are hopeful a solution is on the way. I'm very optimistic that something will work out. I don't know exactly what it'll, what it'll be, I mean, but I'm pretty sure that it'll happen. I also asked Councilman Aliff where the city stands on finding a temporary warming shelter. He told me while there aren't any updates as of right now, everyone in city council is working on it. Always watching out for you, Pueblo, Jessica Barreto, News 5.